It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. And I'm feeling in pain because I keep sleeping weird. Like my whole back feels f up. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Sorry, that was a really good stretch and I was really into it, so. <laughs> Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Get your fucking ass up and join my Patreon. I don't know why my intros are just so weird. Anyways, it is a new week. My contractor is about to be here and a lot is gonna happen. So I wanted to get the vlog started. I know a lot of y'all love the renovation content and what is happening? More renovation. Station Rhythm Nation. <laughs> it's later in the day on this fine, fine Monday. I am a little bit less bubbly and excited because I got some news from my mom that my Nana isn't doing well. So I'm just going through the 900 different thought processes of what's to come. But on a lighter note, uh, my contractor did a lot of things in the basement today. Like any good decision in life, let's go distract ourselves and look. So my gym has a TV in it now, which he mounted and added an electrical outlet on the wall so you don't see cords coming down. In the back room, I think. <gasps> oh. My. God. Oh my god, like, I'm not scared of this room at all anymore. I still have to get shelves put in over there, but... We have all new lighting, we have ceiling tiles. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. Booger, it's so pretty down here. Isn't it? Isn't it so pretty down here? Tomorrow's gonna be putting in the new faucet, I think, doing some shelving, doing some closets. It's not a ton of structural work or anything like we saw in previous renovation vlogs. It's gonna be a lot of stuff that I'm very excited about. Oh my gosh, okay. Today, a little glimpse of light happened. I have been waiting for this package from Sunday School for so long. Did you get custom clothes made for you because you're such a big lady? Not only did I get one of their amazing fleeces, but we got a size for Booger as well. Oh my god, I know Sunday School made you clothes! I know you're excited, Boog, okay? No? Oh my gosh, Booger, you're so cute! Oh my god, hold on, okay? A rematching. A rematching. I imagine, dude. I love you. Mwah. I love you. Thank you, Sunday school. So it's towards the end of the next day, and my contractor just left and did literally so much. First up, can we hear some commotion for the new sink, please? You want to see something even more satisfying? It goes right into the hole now. Next up, this is like the epitome of hi, I'm an adult. My laundry room has a floating shelf above it now and I didn't want it going to the full wall. And then my entire laundry room closet got infrastructure, so we have shelving and rods. Oh my God, just so much organized storage. I'm wet. This room is all done. Ah, oh, my house is beautiful. Seriously, I am like, on cloud nine. Another dumb thing, but my office got a dimmer switch so I can like actually dim my office lights now. Yeah, I'm just super excited about my house. I know it's like really dumb little shit, but I mean this fucking sink. <sighs> oh, I love you. You've been such a good girl while everybody's been here. You're amazing. You're amazing. And then on top of that, I ordered this leather long jacket from Essence and it came. What do we think? And then I also found this vase on Essence. I got this vase because I just thought it was so unique. I just thought in my office or something. It's really cute. I love this little character. It's been a few days and I've just been sort of vibing. <laughs> Today I had like a light breakdown. It's just that I have a bunch of really amazing opportunities coming up and I'm stoked about that and I don't ever want that to seem like I'm not. However, why do they always have to be like four of the biggest things in the same week? So I just got really overwhelmed, but I finished filming the Doja Cat like crystal full face or whatever. So in that video I had the balloon on my head and I like had to stop the video because I was literally in so much pain. I finished recording that four hours ago. I still have the line on my forehead from it. And I'm sort of wondering if I will always have this line with me. Like, did I just change the shape of my head? I gave Booger a dental chew, and so I was eating a snack in the kitchen. And by a snack, I mean a few snacks. Oh my god. 
<laughs> the whole point of this is I was just really like vibing in my kitchen and was gonna just share some kitchen life core porn. <laughs> Literally, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> like, Booker is like looking at me and she's like, bitch, can we go the fuck to bed? <laughs> yeah, that one's on me, coach. Right here. Here you go. Ooh, Book, we have a big ass room. Book, look at this. <gasps> oh my god, Book, are you okay? Oh my god, Booker. <laughs> There you go. Look at this, we have a huge terrace. So the bookstore and I just got to New York. Tomorrow I shoot a pilot. Me when the airplane hits turbulence. Tomorrow I'm on set all day and then on Monday, I am filming a brand deal that I'm very excited about for TikTok. I do have to drop some of my Antarctica film off at a place that my friend and filmer Justin goes to a lot for his film. Guys, Justin and I were shopping and he was like, oh, is this the place that has a salon? And I was like, wait, I needed a buzz cut for my big shoot tomorrow. So now I'm getting a haircut. <laughs> And that's my audition for the glam bot. It is midnight. Oh my god, guys, I can't get over my haircut. I'm gonna like become that man's best friend. Anyways, it is midnight. I am wearing middle kit. I am watching my final round of edits on the video of me doing Doja Cat's red look. I think I've finally gotten it to a place where it's good and I'm excited about it. I am gonna edit the Patreon after show um, of this video after this because tomorrow I have to be on set at 8 30 in the morning and it's like a 40 minute drive away. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I hit snooze approximately six times. I'm in the car and on the way to set and I am tired. And I finished like the intro and a bunch of stuff. Trying to get down all my talking points. I hope I'm doing a good job. I have to be quiet though, they're filming. I'm sorry, rolling. That's an industry term. Alrighty, it is nine o'clock. I just got back to the hotel to miss Bugs. Filming ran a little late, so I was gonna do a dinner, but we pushed that to a 9.30, so I am about to head out to a dinner. I need to wake up at nine for a 10 a.m. shoot. Booger is watching construction happen. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Booger! Anyways, I'm getting a start to my day outside. I ordered some matcha full and I'm about to look over the brand deal brief before we film just to get a refresh of what I'm supposed to be doing. I just found out that I get 2 p.m. checkout because I'm a discoverist. Okay. Not complaining. It's the end of the day. I am back in Delaware. The shoot went great. But we filmed in Union Square this morning and there was the farmer's market and I saw this gluten-free blueberry almond cake. So I figure we try it together and see if it's any good. Here is what it looks like. I love almond flavor, which is why I got this. So I'm kind of hoping there's a lot. It's from a place called Body and Soul Bake Shop. This is really fucking good for it being gluten-free. Holy shit. Good morning, party people. It is the next day, and it's already been such a fun one. I woke up at 5.45 to an interesting smell, and I was like, what is... Oh my god. Oh, little Miss Booger, did you pee on my carpet? Yeah, she pissed on my carpet. So, um, I spent an hour from 5.45 to 6.45 cleaning that up. I went back to sleep only to wake up at 8 o'clock because the people installing the shower in my bathroom were coming at 8.30. However, when I woke up, uh, they told me it got pushed back because of the rain, so... <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm feeling like I could really rage out right now. I'm so tired. Okay, the shower process is beginning. This is the finish that we are going with for the metal. So this is the final look without glass. The shower people just left. It's done. I just finished cleaning up all of the mud. Oh my god, guys. I have a fucking shower in my bathroom now. Here is the shower. And like I said, I went with like the shiny brass. This is also exciting because this is a part of the reason why I have this here so I can like turn on the shower and everything and then close the door while it heats up. I can't use the shower for like two days, which I obviously expected. But I'm so excited. My house is like pretty much done now. I don't know if I updated y'all, but I fell down my basement stairs and my elbow looks so much better than it did. This right here is a burn from my stove that I got earlier in the day. And then later that day I fell down the stairs and this was like purple, green, and yellow like two days ago. Ah! Oh my God! Guys, this is not a drill. Oh my God, middle kid samples are here. Okay, so the final middle kid samples just showed up, hopefully. The final. I'm so excited because this is like the part of the process where like the vision actually comes to life. <gasps> ah! We're gonna look at them. This looks so different, which I don't love. Oh my god. Oh wait. This looks worse. Okay, well this is not as exciting as I hoped. <gasps> oh my god, the hoodie. The motherfucking hoodie is gorge. This shirt. I love, I don't love the printing quality. This is also the part of the process where I question, is this what I want to do in my life? If I have to push this launch back one more time, I'm gonna shoot myself. If you guys want Middle Kid updates, follow us on Instagram at Middle Kid and go to middlekid.supply and put in your email and you can get updates for when we do launch. I will be giving y'all a discount code um, just for my patrons. So if you wanna join my Patreon, that is down below. So it's a little bit later after samples and I have just been packing because tomorrow I go to Los Angeles because I'm interviewing the cast of How I Met Your Father, AKA Hillary Duff. I'm I'm like convinced that at the last second she's not gonna be a part of the interview, so I'm like just bracing for it. But that is the reason I took this gig. I have to be up at like seven in the morning to go to the airport, so I'm just trying to get all of my ducks in a row, quack quack. Mm -hmm. Booker is enjoying a dental chew. I'm about to go chew on some gummies. I am ready for bed, bitch. Good morning, I am at the airport and have now passed parking twice at the Philadelphia airport. I really might not make the baggage drop off, cut off. So that's gonna be really exciting because I literally passed the parking thing twice. In my defense, the Philly airport uh, blows. They say you never make the same mistake twice. Not only have I done it twice today, but I also have made this mistake before. So everything they told you about it getting better is false. Welcome to LA! Now it's coming. <coughs> Wind it up. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clements, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my, my channel. channel. I'm in LA, Katya picked me up. We're gonna go get some wine and maybe some weed. Did someone say weed? But I did want to get one of those Nepo Baby smoothies, so I figured we would try it. So let's go. So guys, this was $34. <laughs> this is all gluten free. Here it is. The Bella Hadid Kinzical. <laughs> Here's the moment of truth. It tastes like freshly picked coconut. Like, there was some dirt in it. $21. Katya and her girlfriend, they have a cat, and it's adorable and cuddly, and I was literally, we were like warming up to each other. Like, I was literally rubbing behind her ear as I was saying, see, maybe I could get a cat. And then what happens? Her fucking teeth are in the fucking meat of my thumb. I feel so betrayed. I feel so betrayed. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck do you have to say? I just got back from Botox. Shout out Dr. Torkian. I was gonna stop getting it, but then I realized that I wanted it, so here we are. Later today, I am going to the Paramount lot to interview the cast of How I Met Your Father, and they want me to do a COVID test, so we're gonna do that now. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Look at this technology, y'all. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alrighty, I am in the Uber and I'm almost at Paramount. Getting nervous. Go. 
at all this. Oh my god, I just saw Hillary now. Fuck. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, Hillary's donut. <laughs> Here's a half-eaten donut from Hillary Duff. Ten-year-old me would have taken it. The Delaware is jumping right out. Wow, I cannot believe I'm on the set of How I Met Your Father. This is what dreams are made of. Hey no. Hey no. This, this is, is what dreams are made of. of. Thank you. Guys, I'm here with Robin, girl we boss town. On, we just wrapped on set. We just uh -oh. wrapped. We are season regulars. We both were on the set of How I Met Your Father, and we just did some content with the cast. Yeah, it was really cool. Honestly, though, um, the laugh track in the background of the episode is us. Was us. And we will be claiming union pay. Thank you. So I just got back, and I wanted to do a little debrief. So basically, after watching the season two episode be filmed, we got, like, five minutes to make content with the cast and it really was a little chaotic because they were like all talking to their family and friends and it was like the first live audience taping they'd ever done so it was just a huge moment it seemed for them but Hillary started to walk away and I was like mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not leaving without this piece of content sweetheart I came up with this skit and Hillary is just like so goddamn down and nice and friendly like Hillary I'm so sorry for making you do that skit <laughs> oh my god Hillary Duff you are and have always been incredible. Okay, this is getting weird. It's very close to the camera. I'm gonna go shower now. I just showered, but I remembered I was supposed to interview the whole cast, but due to timing issues, it went into just like making content. But I know that I like teased. I'm gonna be interviewing someone who's gonna make you gag. So that was it, girlies. So <laughs> eat it up. Guess who? No, like literally, guess who? Because uh, you can't see his face. Did you guess Andrew? Because if you did, you were correct, and now you can't see me. Okay. When are we doing Guess Who? And when am I going to be a part of it? Um, do you, we need to have that Come to Delaware. I just made it home in Delaware, and this is going to be my first time showering in my brand new shower. Oh my god. I'm so out of breath. But also very excited to not have to shower in the guest room anymore. Oh my god, I literally don't even know how to, like, use this shower. That's okay. That's oh my god. That just shot me ah! hey Vloggy vlog. It's been a minute. I think literally the last thing I vlogged was me Having my first shower. It is Monday. I uploaded my Antarctica video. Go check that out girls And now I'm in New York till like Wednesday, but also might be like Friday If you don't know Heather Gay from Real Housewives of Salt Lake City she and I have been mutuals on Instagram. Her book, Bad Mormon, is coming out, and I am interviewing her on Unhinged with Chris Clemens. She's having, like, a little book party thing. I don't know. That's how she described it. So I'm about to go to that. This is what I am wearing to the shindig. My chain is sweet lime juice. This leather trench I thrifted. The black shirt is Skims. These shorts are Helmet Lang and the boots are Ralph Simmet. Or no, they're Rick Owens. I literally forgot I had these and they're my new favorite like go-to shoe. They're insane. I'm obsessed with them. So I never feed Boogie Board <laughs> any human food. There have obviously been times where there were fruits and vegetables. I just did a huge mukbang for Patreon um, of a little weed review that I did of stuff that I bought in LA. And I'm having little tater tots and I feel like I should give her one. I normally never do this but she's such a fucking good sport and it's just the best fucking dog ever. Do you want a treat? Oh my god, did you taste that tater tot? You're gonna lose your fucking mind, girl. <laughs> you love that? I'm literally dying the crossed fucking paws. The tail? Booger. <laughs> As a tater tot once. Good morning vlog, look who is here in person. Hello. We are interviewing the one and only Heather Gay on Unhinged today. We rented a little studio. Look at that, a parking garage. Justin is just setting up. 
I am literally we eating. We just finished the interview with Heather. I literally did not vlog anything with her because she, her book literally comes out today, Bad Mormon, go get it. But she literally has been doing like back to back to back to back to back. So she had to run to another thing. But the episode went so fucking well. I cannot believe I ever questioned myself. We are gonna go record a Oscar, no, Grammys outfit roast right now while we have the studio. And then I am done. So I'm very excited for that moment. Look at this. This is so legit and it's not even color corrected. It's so gorgeous, Justin. You killed it. Thank you. You are the best. Literally celebration dinner for a crazy successful week. Good morning, last night was super fun. My friend Katie and I just went to dinner at our favorite spot. Now, however, before I check out, I have to run over to Chelsea because I am doing a fitting with Acne Studios. They're having a fashion week thing tomorrow and they are dressing me for it. Oops, sorry. sorry. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with, everybody. Just Paul. It's not, nothing formal. All right, we have come to a final look. I'm gonna have a cream colored shirt under instead of this one, but this is kind of different and fun. Now, however, we are heading to Soho because I am meeting with my favorite vodka company. It's called Body. It's later in the day and we've left New York. I just stopped in New Jersey to meet up with my mom, cousin, and uncle because um, we were going to visit my Nana in the hospital and it was probably the last time I'll ever see my Nana alive. It's just been really hard. I feel so lucky to have had such a close bond with her. <laughs> but that's what makes this part so much harder. Before I kind of thought there was gonna be a chance that she could recover. Seeing her the way she is right now compared to everything I've ever known her as. I've had such a long week and I understand that it is life and everybody goes through it and all of that. It's just hard to actually grasp. I dropped anything for her phone calls. Her name popped up on my phone. I would, I don't care. I was in middle business meetings before and I picked up the phone and just been like, hey, what's up? And just have someone to write me letters and just care for me the way that she did. She was like a huge part of the fabric of me, which sounds like the gayest fucking thing, <laughs> but <laughs> it's true. And it's just sort of hitting me. I I've just, I've been so busy this week and so tired and stressed that I haven't really been able to think about it, but to confront it head on today, it's just a lot. And it, I can't picture my life without my Nana. <laughs> I'm just so sad and in so much pain. I already just feel like I'm struggling so hard with life right now and this on top of it. I just feel so broken and sad. I always feel like as I get older, death and the concept of dealing with death feels like it will get easier. And for some reason, it only just gets harder. She never got the... Mr. Softy ice cream truck ornament that I got her for Christmas this year. She's never gonna see my house. Like, there's just so many things like that that I know that she would just be so proud of me. Or would I just, it would get, oh my God, I would do anything to see her laugh one more time. God, she just always made me feel so supported and happy and empowered and special. I'm just trying to like lean into my emotions and how I feel just for grieving, but I just, I don't want to cry anymore. I don't want to feel like this anymore. <laughs> I just want my grandma. My mom asked her like, do you know who I am? And she muttered two syllables that sounded like my mom's name. And then she said, do you know him? And she, made one syllable sound that sounded like it ended with S and I'm just like holding on to that. I just don't know how to do this one. <laughs> oh, I really don't know how to do this one. Good morning, it is the next morning and I literally opened my eyes and heard my phone vibrate and my mom called and my Nana passed. And I'm like crying obviously but 
I love that bitch so much. She fucking waited for me to say goodbye. I just... <laughs> I feel in this that I actually mattered. Like, she wanted to wait for me to get there. And I know that, honestly, it's just coincidence. But part of me really... <sighs> Like, I feel so at peace with it. I know I don't look at peace with it. Oh my god, this... Jesus Christ, wow, I look like a fucking victim. I just feel so grateful to... have had Nana be my Nana, and to have been able to have that kind of closure and talk to her, and... <laughs> it's weird, because I have, like, a bunch of cards I bought that I was gonna write her while she was in the hospital, and I've been writing her. So it's just stuff like that that's going to be hard, but I'm really happy that she's at peace, and I feel so lucky that I got to say goodbye. Oh, Nana, I love you so much, and I will never forget you. Oh my god. Oh, what a fucking woman. An absolute badass till the fucking end. Now it's later in the day and I'm heading back up to New York because the Acne Studios event that I got fitted for yesterday is tonight. I know people might think it's insane, but this is a commitment I made. They dressed me for it. I want to work further with this brand. I do want to say thank you to everybody who has just given me some sort of love today. I can't even express to you how much it means to me and how much it's truly helped with this. Hey guys, I think the last thing I vlogged was me literally sobbing. Something that my Nana used to make all the time that was so divine were her meatballs. She would make these fucking softball sized meat, maybe not softball, like baseball. My mom is over and we figured we would just make some of Nana's meatballs in celebration of her. The meatballs are done, we're eating. Oh my god, they're incredible. They just wouldn't have been this spicy. No, they would not have been this spicy. Today is Monday and it's almost 8 o'clock and I have spent the last hour emptying out my closet because it's closet install day! Yes, my entire hallway and bathroom and guest room are covered in shit. But I have to move the mirror, these boards, and then that thing out. And then the next time we see this, it'll be getting worked on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There's gonna be a lot of hanging stuff on this wall, some shelves and stuff. Tomorrow is my Nana's funeral, and I was really stressed because the closet was gonna take two days, but they did it in one. You guys, look at my closet! Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this part they need to remeasure because this is going to be just a whole bunch of drawers. I cannot believe this is my closet. I never thought I would ever have a closet like this. <sighs> oh my god. It is time to fill the closet. I have no idea where I want to put stuff. The first item. Ah! <laughs> This is so exciting. It is starting to get filled. I'm probably gonna reorganize all of this by like color and stuff, but I'm just putting stuff in here. One, to get things in here and off clothing rack. Two, I wanna just like use my closet like this for a week or two just to get a rhythm down. If the pants are annoying up there, I'll move them. It's crazy that it's been well over a year of owning this house and the final thing is just finishing, slash will be finished in like another month or two. <sighs> it just never ends, girls. It just never ends. Also, fucking shout out to all the single people out there who have to do it all themselves. I had to empty this whole goddamn closet this morning by myself. And now, just little old me is trying to reach the top hangers. Someone please fucking take me out on a date. This is like weirdly full circle, but in my last closet, I had this thing that my Nana gave me, which is like so live, laugh, love, but my Nana gave it to me, and therefore, it is more valuable than the fucking Mona Lisa to me. It says, ask yourself, what would your Nana do? And I had it in my last closet, and it just feels very fitting that I found this. And my closet was done today, so I think it's kind of cute there because I always have to wear pants or shirts. 